What I want to present today has to do with the power that you have to impact your community. And the idea that you have the power to change one life that can impact hundreds or thousands of lives. So you don't have to do too much to really have an impact in the world. With something that you do, just small steps, you can really have a profound impact in your community and therefore the world. So I want to present what I call the, uh, the calendar that can build a practice, or what we call it the marketing calendar. We follow this calendar by date. We are committed to follow it and to accomplish it. It doesn't matter if one person shows up or 500 shows up. We're going to do it regardless, because we are committed to our mission. Something that we have as a premise before we, go, before we get to any of these events is that, first, the future can be better than the present. And second, that chiropractic and us have the power to make it so. And with that premise, we can go anywhere and talk about different topics that we can tie the chiropractic big idea around. So we have developed topics that are common to the society and that are relevant for them. And then we tie how chiropractic can be adjunct to that. And how, if you're healthy but are subluxated and cannot really break down the nutrients properly because you're subluxated, how eating healthy is great, but it's not as good as when you are adjusted. How exercise and get, move and oxygenate your body is great for you, but it's not as great as when you're adjusted and really can take advantage of that oxygen and that movement. That all the other areas of healthy lifestyle can really be promoted and enhanced by chiropractic present in their lifestyle. So chiropractic has to be the pillar of this conversation, but the conversation nevertheless has to take place in your community. Nobody has that message but you. So I want to share just a few of those ideas. We call it patient, new patient heaven because that's what they're looking for. What people are looking for is a better life for themselves and their families. They're looking how to enjoy their lives fully. They're looking on how to prevent suffering and how to save money on issues like health or disease. You have the answer to those questions. You are relevant to that conversation. I hear chiropractors from all over the place, and most likely you have this conversation in your head, and this is the, the conversation. In my area, it's different. And I can tell you it's true. It is different in your area. But there are some common grounds. What are the common grounds? There are people living in your area, right? Yes, yes there are people living there. That people, that, that community wants to be healthy. The majority of them want to. They have subluxations regardless where they are. Some of them have more than others. Per area, I mean. And if you do not adjust them, they'll be, they will still be subluxated for the rest of their lives. So that's the common ground. And your area is different, but that is the same in all areas of the world. And they need it. It's not a luxury, it's a need. When you establish the need that they have for your service, then they flock to you. Not because you're asking them to, because they will ask you to. Patients don't come to you, they come from you. They're a reflection of your commitment, your mission, your ideas, your conversation. They're a reflection of that that is you. 
they come from you. These small things that we do can make a difference and can build a practice from tomorrow on. So take pictures of it. And one thing that you implement will definitely make a change if your heart and your mind is in it. So we have 11 advanced workshops. We educate patients about chiropractic and the healthy lifestyle. We have 11 patient appreciation days. We have shop with the doc, which is just something that we do in the supermarkets, teaching people how to choose the right foods for them and their families. Health first, which we go everywhere and talk about chiropractic and vitality. And we have exclusive patient breakfast, lunch, and dinners. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each. Uh, also, we have movie nights. We have kids' day, pets' day, the doctor's visit, and recipe nights. So we spread that throughout the year. And we have some synergy going because a lot of people are doing it together. So we talk things that are relevant to them. Like, for example, in the advanced workshops, we have the cancer awareness and subluxation education. These are things that are relevant to them because they are afraid of developing cancer. And it's epidemic. And they have suffered already in their family because of cancer. And you have a different conversation about cancer. It's not a treatment for that. It's a solution for that. Raising healthy families. There we talk about vaccinations and the healthy lifestyle that we promote for our children. It's a conversation they're not used to out in the outside world. But if you don't have that conversation, you'll be no different than a medical doctor pushing backs. The conversation is what makes us interesting. The conversation is what makes us different than the application of that conversation through your congruent care, obviously. But this conversation is going to open the ears of the people that, is, that are present. And they're going to say, there is an idea. They might not agree with 100% of what you're saying, but they will hear you. If the masses don't come to you, you go to the masses. Because you have the right to do so. And more than the right, you have the obligation to do so. As a principal chiropractor, you do. And principal means that the principals are the ones that guide you. Caring, loving, serving, giving. What else than going out there and reaching them? Because they need you. Why else would you do it? Reversing, preventing diabetes. The 21-day challenge on weight management. Common knowledge. And then you bring people that have overcome those situations. And they say, since I'm getting adjusted, since I started following his recommendations, this is what happened to me. Advanced nutrition workshops, how to eat healthy. This is not in the nutrition, uh, medical nutrition advice. No, it's a chiropractic way of looking at food and ingesting them. Living to 100 and beyond. Heart health, the facts about chiropractic. 12 minute workout solution, increasing oxygenation, detoxing your life and your environment. Nutrition workshops, getting ready for the holidays. That's the next one. And the mindset, that's how we end up and start the year, utilizing your mind's healing power and chiropractic to be well. Basic stuff. But guess what? For the common person out there, this is a breakthrough. They'll see you as a leader, not only in their health field and in their health, but as a leader of their community. That's what they will refer blindly to you. They say, don't worry, just go to him. Just go to her. Just do it. Just, just trust me. Because they have felt something they, have, they haven't felt with anybody else. So the advanced workshops, you get people together, and you talk about those different topics. We do it once a month. We tie chiropractic and the chiropractic story in every single one of them. We talk about net intelligence. We talk about adjustment. We talk about everything that has to do with the real need that they have to get adjusted. Since birth, 
Everybody is a potential client. Everybody is a, is a potential chiropractic patient. Everybody is. Why would you limit your reach to just in a specific group? Why would you ever do that? And I know you might like to work with athletes or with children. I understand. This is not about you. This is about them. Reach as many people as you can. You'll have a great problem having to expand, getting other doctors, getting other facilities. Great problem. But everybody is your market share. 11 appreciation days, like the Three Kings Day, Easter, Valentine's, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Fourth of July, St. Patrick's, Labor Day, in-office Halloween costume parties, Thanksgiving, uh, uh, food drive, and the Christmas, the Christmas gift drive. Just find a reason to get together with them. Create a culture of love, of giving, of serving. Be happy. A culture of happiness. That's what they come back with you. And because they know that through you, they're accessing something that they're not going to access anywhere else. They're avoiding suffering and pain. They're avoiding drugs, surgeries, early retirement. They're saving money through you. But you have to let them know. If you don't let them know, it's going to be really hard for them to understand. <coughs> Beforehand, it's a magical thing when people get together and they contribute with you. And they bring you all these kind of things. And then you've created a tribe, which is called your chiropractic mission. But that's part of the strategy. Take pictures with them. Tell them you love them. Christmas gift drive, find a place. Shop with the dog. We do it six times a year. We go to a supermarket. Then we give them a gift to everyone that showed up. And we talk about food. We talk about chemicals and the mechanistic way of seeing nutrition and, and food and how the, the industry of chemicals has really invaded not only pharmaceuticals through our health, but our food. And how vitalism takes a different look at that. You have the right to expose your point of view. And more than the right, you have the obligation of doing so as a principal chiropractor. You express the importance of reading nutrition facts, facts and ingredients. You teach your patient the correct way to read food, uh, food labels. And you talk about chiropractic right there and then. People will stop and listen in the supermarket. They will ask for your card. They will make an appointment right there. Health first. There are many places you can go. Your community, government agencies, private companies, school fairs nearby communities, just move. Just get moving. Ask and you shall receive. Ask somebody, can I go to your work? Can I go to your school? Absolutely, they'll say. Nine out of 10 will say yes to you. You have to ask with an open heart, with the right intention, because you can and you must. You talk to people and you have fun. They'll come to you. Then you repeat this idea over and over. Repetition is where mastery comes from. Don't expect to tell one person one thing about chiropractic and expect them to understand it for the rest of their lives. Get them engaged into these events. That's what we call an event-driven office. I don't promote myself out of my office. I mean, like social media or I have my hands full with my own people referring their own people. It doesn't stop. Breakfast, lunch, and dinners. You hand out a personal invitation. You choose healthy food. Connect with them. Allow them to share the personal story. You will be crying the whole dinner. Everybody will be crying the whole dinner. It's fun. It, they laugh and they la they laugh and they cry. And they go out of there as chiropractic warriors. Well, some of my best patients come from those dinners because they must bring a guest, a spouse or significant others that are not getting adjusted. 
And once they hear everybody, everything that has happened in their life, the only logical action is, I have to do this. And then they do. And you thank them for being part of your life. You thank them from your heart for being participant of your events. We create what we call chiropractic ambassadors, which are the people that have been with us the longest. They're part of, that help us organize all these events. They love it. Movie nights, we choose documentaries, we get together, we see them, we talk about it. You choose a good movie and express why you chose it. You serve healthy snacks and refreshments, no Coke, and you have a good time. To become a leader, you lead. That's what you do. You lead, and they'll follow you. 100%? No. Don't expect that. Well, but if 80% of the people that you touch follows you, you'll have your hands full of service, of fun, of money, of abundance, of happiness, of growth. You'll have your hands full. If you are active and you have a plan that you follow and your heart is open, you have a kiss day. The best compliment I have ever received come from kids. They say, I want to be like you. They don't say, I want to be a chiropractor. They say, I want to be like you. That's, that's a reward right there. Make the child feel special. Speak directly to them. That's their day. Allow them to ask you questions. Make it fun. We do that twice a year. Ask questions to them, surprise them, how much they know. You educate children about chiropractic. What else would you do? And you're planting seeds. You have the pest day. People love their pets as a family member. Why wouldn't you adjust them unless the law prohibits it in your state? In my state, they don't prohibit it. But I do it twice a year. I check their pets. And if there's other situation that arises, then I'll do so. Particularly, I don't charge it. They're my patients. I don't. And I don't adjust any pet that is not from a patient of mine. But I take a lot of joy seeing how they, get, or they respond to chiropractic and to adjustments. It's another way of teaching them about the innate intelligence of living creatures. The doctor's visit. You go everywhere you are welcome to. You ask, you shall receive. The doors will be open for you. School, churches, you name it. I go anywhere they invite me. It doesn't matter if it's for four people, if it's for 400 people. It doesn't really matter. Because that one person can open the door for you for a church of 500 people. It doesn't really matter. What matters is, what are you doing there? And if you're clear with that mission, and if you're clear with your thoughts and your love, if you're connected, if you feel you are who you say you are, and then we go everywhere. Recipe nights. We cook, we eat. Everybody brings a, a dish out of our recipes that we have taught them. And they're proud. And we share it, and we eat together, and we have fun. And we become that that is a family, a community, out of respect and love. It looks easy, but it requires action. It requires for you to be present, open your arms, open your heart, have the guts of standing up and tell the truth. It doesn't matter if you're talking to a group of medical doctors or to a group of teachers. It doesn't really matter. The truth is the truth. And you speak it loud, with confidence, with security, with love and compassion. Nevertheless, with conviction. And you will see what happens. What happens is that we're increasing the number of people that we touch. 
that you receive bigger and ever blessings from there on. They just multiply. And you start living what you say is the life of your dreams. Often I'm told, Eddie, you're so blessed, and I am, because of my family, my friends, my abundance. I can tell you that it all comes from this, that I just told you. It all comes from that. It all comes from being present, saying yes, going out there, and leaving fear behind. So I appreciate that you're here. I love you as my co-missioner, and I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Thank you.